Hey, well, um, we're here on the Halloween special, uh, first ever live Sacred Cow show. We hope we don't flop too bad, although I'm kind of uh, flopping already. Um, we're uh, we're coming to you directly from hell. Hell, and man, that explains the flop sweat. It's it's hell sweat actually. It's uh, really hot here, but uh, we're just we're gonna just try to. Uh, uh, stay here as long as we can and we're going to stay on the air as long as we can bear it and it could be an eternity <laughs> it already feels like it's been an eternity it's been a long time. woo it's, it's hot time. so did i tell you all that joke about the well, anyway let's <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll you'll see my character develop through the evening into the lovable sidekick Jimmy's the lovable sidekick. I'm the <laughs> sacrificial lamb. Like, you know how you know who the sacrificial lamb is? Like Star Trek, the black guy that doesn't have anything to do. You know he's gonna be offed by the second commercial. <laughs> I'm gonna be off. We're gonna um, let's let's show a video, um, our first video. What should we start off with here? Every day. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's do Since the obvious. That's we don't plan uh, things. We got all kinds of guests lined up. We got uh, we got John Hug, we got we got uh, Bill Hicks, and they're none of none of them are in the house. They're none not of in, them are in the house. None of them are in the house, but not they will be here. They'll be in hell. They're in hell. They'll be in hell, and uh, just with us, um, they're uh, they're in purgatory right now. They're almost down to where we are. Right. They're uh, they're almost here. And but, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. But as you can see, the amazing thing about this show is that it's spontaneous. It you is. know, it's like the it's like the Johnny Carson show or the space shuttle launch. You know, I've never seen you sail before. Is it just like a, a dream? To, is there sailing? Is there a hell? way to colonize? What we're trying to get to is there a way to, to uh, uh, combat Satan and the forces of evil with sailboats? Yes, there is, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, sailboats are serene in themselves, and at the Church of Sailboat, we are serene. Got sailboats in themselves, presenting a sailboat will repel a North American vampire. Got it, got it. Oh, that is it. That is it. Well, let's, let's go to another very... video. Uh, let's, um, it's time for, to have some fun. And you mean to tell me you think your child is special? <laughs> <laughs> because one out of 200 million sperm that load. We're talking one load. <laughs> Connected. Gee, what are the fucking odds? <laughs> 200, you know what that means? I have wiped entire civilizations <laughs> off of my chest <laughs> with a gray gym sock. <laughs> that is special. And I want you to think about that, you two egg carrying beans out there. With that holier than thou, we have the gift of life. <laughs> jockey shorts. Oh. What's for fucking breakfast? Okay, hi, this is Bill Hicks. Uh, happy Halloween to everybody. Uh, we're calling, uh, we're taking callers in hell tonight. We're in hell. We've been in hell for quite a while, setting up this project. And uh, we're taking callers and we're going to have a great show for you. And, and I hope your Halloween is spooky and and exciting and, and frightening, just like when you were a little kid 
And uh, we're going to take callers. So let's take our first caller now. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Bill. I see uh, you're in hell. Is, it a, is that an unusual place to be there? Well, uh, uh, hell is very unusual. First of all, the first thing I noticed was that uh, the entire cast, the writers, and the producers of the show Full House are here, and they're not even dead yet. So I don't know what that means. Um, you know what I found really unusual is how broad the standards are that will lead you to hell. For instance, uh, people that sneeze on airplanes, they go to hell. Man, this, I never knew that. Yeah. People that take left turns in traffic are all going to hell. Did you know that? I believe that. It, yeah, isn't that weird though? Um, non-smokers, everyone here is a non-smoker, which is very ironic. <laughs> They didn't know they had that coming to them, did they? Makes me feel better. <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. And you know, 99% of the people in hell, you know who they are? Christians. Christians? Christians. They're the ones, it's their concept. They're the only ones that believe in it. So they came to it. That makes sense. It does. If It does if you think about it at all. And anyway, uh, so you're doing all right on this Halloween night? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I was going to ask you, um, have you seen any of the... The people involved in the Waco raid, they're in hell with you? Well, no, because the FBI and ATF guys haven't died yet. Oh, okay. But uh, no, none of the Branch Davidians are here. Um, as people who watch public access are probably aware of, they've seen the footage of the uh, Bradley tanks shooting fire into the Branch Davidian compound, which is, of course, goes totally against the party line which is that the uh, they shot tear gas and the Branch Davidians started the fire. Um, I find I, the implications to be quite frightening, don't you, caller? Yes, I, I do, really. Uh, I saw some footage of you, and you looked like you were almost at the back door of the compound. How did you get that close to there? Uh, uh, well, I have connections. <laughs> not with the Branch Davidians, not with the FBI, nor the ATF, but with the uh, farmer that fed those black cows that were in front of the compound you saw in every shot. Right. He's a buddy of mine. Oh, man. So during the whole siege, we had to keep feeding the cows, and he needed help. So I went out there, and I, you know, poured seed out and hay and whatnot. I was wondering. It looked like you were awfully close. Well... It was really weird. I didn't even need ID. I just needed a pair of bib overalls. Oh, my God. Yeah, and I got right through all the, uh, the uh, police barricades. Oh, anyway, yeah. um... Um, uh, what were you going to say? I, I just thought it was unbelievable that you got so close. I, I was um, wondering how you got that close, and now I know. Now you know. Have you seen the footage of the Bradley tanks shooting fire into the compound? I haven't heard it. I haven't seen it, but I've heard about it. Well, it's, uh, I've seen it. If you watch, uh, we have, you know, it's on public access all the time. And what I find most interesting, not only does it prove if this tape is real, that the FBI, the ATF, uh, Janet Reno, up to President Clinton are basically liars and murderers. But I find the implications that no uh, mainstream media has picked up on this tape and shown it to be even uh, more ins ins in insidious, if you, if you fo follow my meaning. Well, it makes you wonder who owns the TV station. It does, and it also makes you wonder what their agenda is if it's not, in fact, the news or the truth. Right. Anyway, uh, but like I said, none of them are here yet because they're not dead, but there is a place for them right next to uh, people who sneeze on airplanes. Okay. And you're probably wondering why I'm in hell and how I got here. Yeah. I actually sneezed on an airplane that was making a left turn. So, oh, my yeah, God. double indemnity for me. Jesus. But it, yeah. Like a life sentence, or? Well, no, I'm only only for this uh, shot tonight. Only for Halloween? Only for Halloween. I'm in hell. And it's very interesting. Jerry Lee Lewis is here, and he's not dead yet either. Gee, I'd hate to be in his boots. <laughs> and uh, Elvis isn't here, so once again proving he might still be alive or in heaven. Well, maybe he was a smoker. <laughs> he did smoke those little tipperellos, didn't he? Uh... Well, have a very happy Halloween. You too, and I thank you for calling, and I thank you for your insightful questions, and uh, you, you're helping me get out of hell, and I appreciate that. Every caller that helps me get out of hell is better. But have a happy Halloween to you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, this is um, 
your commentator of this evening, uh, brought to you by uh, CBS and Life Boy. This is the real Corey Wells, John Hug Jr. Brought to you live from Canary Gardens, without even a budge or a bite about a, a movement into a square world. And um, I'd like to say that although Madison Square Gardens is a hot place to play, so are some of the uh, billions concerning the amount of cheapness that it would anyway, cost we'll you. Anyway, we'll get on with the video. This is exciting. You Mark Sackett professed children um, in those idioms provided by the state in a happier nature than uh, worry about a wolf here. call. Call. I still make wolf calls. Call. <laughs> Me too. Introduce the video. Come on. Introduce the video. Uh, the intravenous video is called Curtis Booth Still Makes Wolf Calls on Dan Fenton Sr. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce hello. <laughs> Introduce hello. Introduce well, yeah, hello. And hello, as you know, as a scientific checker out our, our kind of guy, I'll tell you that hello, we can do it legally without promo tax, any invasion. If you can figure out how to, you know, make a deal without too many low, low, logo so sugar the acts. Okay. <laughs> introduce hello. The lower the sweetheart grains get, so does the <laughs> Sullivan <laughs> repeal report come Here. to the top. Here it come to your senses. To infinity through dark night. We're going to show a video, okay? Okay, gotcha. All All right. What's the name of it? Dog Patch Web. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's what? Remember, remember about uh, about six months ago we we did a video. Oh yeah. What's the name of it? Hot Rod Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> It'll it. probably be sold for the amount that you really thought it would be sold for. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, hello, how are you? How you doing? Great, hello. <laughs> okay. Yes? Uh, yes, I'm trying to reach Kevin. Uh, just a second, please. Just one moment, please. Thank you. Hello, you're on the air. Kevin? Yeah. What do you mean I'm on the air? <laughs> I'm recording this. We're doing a live call-in show right now. We're well, fuck you up the back then! Fuck you up the butt! Fuck you! Uh, well, psychedelic movement, as you know, man, is a is a flourishing experience, you know, of euphoria, man. When you when you get down, man, with the LSDs, man, and and, and the cocaines and the marijuanas and diet pills, you know, and start controlling your mind, start controlling, you know, other things in the atmosphere because of your intoxication results, you know. You know what I mean? You want a better world, ladies and gentlemen? Legalize pot right now. We want to end the deficit, legalized pot right now. I am so sick of hearing about the goddamn deficit, I could fucking puke blood. Whoa. There ain't no fucking deficit, it's a fucking lie, and it's a fucking illusion in the first place. But you want to end it? You want to end it, legalized pot, biggest cash crop in America. Deficit's gone. <laughs> I am so sick of hearing about, well, your leaders misspent your hard-earned tax dollars, so you, the people, now have to tighten your belts, and we got to start paying this back, because we, your leaders, misspent your money. You know what would make tightening my belt a little easier? If I could tighten it around Jesse Helms' scrawny little chicken neck. feel better about the sacrifice right now. You fucking tobacco-pushing motherfucker. You are the worst fucking drug dealer in the fucking world. You scrawny, right-wing, fear-mongering piece of sucker of Satan's cock. You suck Satan's cock, you fucking chicken-neck little fucking cracker.
I tighten my belt if that were the case. I'd eat bologna for a week, you know what I mean? I'd sacrifice. Boy, Jesse Helms is another great one, isn't he? Just another little fevered ego tainting our collective unconscious. Because you know, anyone, like Swagger, anyone that far to the right is hiding a very deep and dark secret. You do know that, right? Yeah. I'm an armchair fucking uh, psychologist, but anyone that, you know when Jesse Helms finally dies, He's going to commit suicide, first of all, in a washtub out back underneath a pecan tree. He's going to slash his wrist and going to write in blood, I've been a bad boy. But you know they're going to find the skins of young children drying in his attic. Swarms of horse flies going in and out of the eaves. And on CNN, over and over, his wife going...